Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Sorry about last week that I wasn't able to be there, but I ended up getting a sub job in my son's class. So it's always nice to work in his class. And then I had I had a couple more throughout the week too. It's, it's busy. It's, we only have three more weeks left of school. So the teachers are busy testing the kids and doing other school events and other things. So it's a, May is a busy month for subbing, which is good because then we don't get paid for a couple months, of course, during the summer when there's no subbing jobs. So anyway, and then this one's a little late today because my son had five more minutes left in his reading of the for his homework. And there's a loud timer that goes off. So that would have been disturbing to the live. So I had to wait for that to be over. And my dad also called to say hello. So sorry. And a little bit later than usual. But anyway, um, I hope you're doing well. This morning was a little crazy. We um, were waiting for the train to, for my daughter for her to go to school. And it was raining, so we were all trying to crowd under all the people. We were all trying to crowd under these little, every once in a while, there's a bench with an overhang. We were all trying to crowd under the same one, which is getting a little bit too crowded, but um, the train wasn't there yet. So one person looked it up, and they put um, updates on Twitter if there's anything going on with the train. So... Unfortunately, there was. It was still stuck in the maintenance yard, which is at least 10 minutes away for the train. And they said then it was, they were maybe going to be ready to go in 20 minutes, but they weren't sure. So that would still be another half an hour. And my daughter's friend had class in an hour and a half. And then my daughter had to be at work. She works on campus in a couple hours. So a lot of people started leaving one by one. They tried to look up Uber, but they were all booked because I'm sure everybody was madly trying to get an Uber to get them there to the their workplaces too. So finally, um, they, we drove home. They dropped me off. My daughter printed a day, one day parking pass. And then she drove her and her friend to school in my van. So I was quite nervous because she hasn't driven there by herself before. She's driven with my husband with her driving. So at least she got the practice in and knew how to drive there but she had to drive in the commute traffic and the rain but she said she got there fine and that's park closer than she thought she thought she'd have to park a mile away but ended up getting to park pretty close so that's really good so I'm glad it all works out but another mom and I were talking this morning about how you never ever stop being a mom some people say like when they're 18 that you know your time is up but no that's not true my older two are 19 and 22 and of course i'm still their mom and then the other mom at school commented that she's 52 and if her um if her own mother doesn't hear from her for a couple of days she gets worried so still no matter what age you are you always are a mom and your kids are always your kids so anyway i wanted to let you know about a couple of the posts that um, I missed because there's two of them since I wasn't here last week. So the one from last week is I have a mega coffee sampler giveaway from Two Rivers Coffee Company and it has 40 different coffees in there and I already put the link to the both posts above in the above where the video is so you can click on it and go to it. The giveaway ends on Thursday so you are I think it's like Wednesday at midnight. So make sure that you want to go there and enter it before it ends. So that way you can get to it. And let me show you. I have it here. So this is what you're going to win. It is a mega coffee sampler. You can see there's tons of coffee and samples and everything in there. And I list on my blog post all the different kinds of coffee and every weekend hi julian nice to see you every weekend my daughter's been trying different ones and she's really liked all of them and we're a big fan we like coffee creamer with our coffee but these flavored coffees in this sampler are so good that she hasn't even had to put creamer with most of them a couple of them needed a little bit but not as much as usual 
So there's a few, I'll just name a couple of them, and then I list all 40 in my post, so you can click on it. But here's the one, um, coconut cream pie. There's um, this chocolate caramel. I'll just go through about four of them, whatever I pull out here from my sampler. There's a uh, toasted cinnamon. I was hoping I could find the mystery one, but of course it's probably buried in here somewhere because there's a mystery one that just has a question mark on it. And my younger son keeps wanting my daughter to try it, but she hasn't tried it yet. So it'll be interesting to see what flavor that will be. And then um, there's another one. A couple of them that don't have such good names. So a couple of them I'm not going to share with you. And that is the one thing I didn't like. A couple of them had some strange names, but... And then here's this one. We've actually tried this one before. I had a sample of the whole box of it, and it was really good. My husband liked it. It's um, Not all of them are flavored. They have some other ones. This is Boardwalk Blend, which is um, a medium roast coffee. So they have a mix in there. Some of them are just regular coffees, medium roast, dark roast flavored. There's something for everybody in there. And it's a great way to get to try all the different flavors of coffee and then you can whichever ones you like then you know which flavors you want to buy like a whole box of them so that's why these um the sample coffee is a really great thing to try but you can win it if you click on the link above and enter my giveaway just make sure you enter it within the next couple of days before it ends and then my post last week was it's a place called coffee me that it's a recipe community and it's a really neat thing. Um, it's a good way for me to get to share my recipe blog posts with other people. And it's a good way for um, other people that don't even have blog posts about recipes or anything to find new recipes. It's a really cool thing. So let me look at my post over here. Get my coffee out of the way that I just showed you. So let me see. So let me tell you about it. So, and it's free. Almost, most of what I told you about in my post is free. There is a, you can sign up for a premium membership, but you don't really need to. Everything in the free version is really all you need. The, the premium just gives you some neat extra organizational things and a couple other extras that I mentioned in my post, which is also linked above. So it's really neat. It's really easy to sign in to. You sign in up for it with your email or your Facebook. And then um, there's a Chrome extension that you can get for free. And they tell you how to do that on the website. And it looks like, um, to me, it looks like two spoons. One of them's right side up and one of them's up pointing down. And then anytime you're anywhere on the web, anywhere in a website or somebody's blog post, wherever you are, if you see a recipe that you like, you just click on that little Chrome extension and it will put it into your copy me that website account and so anytime you want recipes or anything you can just go to your account and they're all there in one location and the cool thing that sets it apart from other recipe places is you can use it to meal plan and to create your shopping list so let me see um so when you add your recipe then you can click on it and then you can look at it, and then there's things on the bottom where you can look at and you can add it to a shopping list and then all of the ingredients are there and then you can pick however many recipes you want if you want to plan your meal plan for the week you click on enough recipes for the week and add them all to your shopping list and all the ingredients are there in one place for you organized by category throughout the store and it's really easy. You can have it printed out, email it to you, and you get your grocery shopping list right there. So that's a really cool thing. I like that. And then there's also a calendar where you can meal plan for the whole month or I think even a week at a time. And you can then just select and even put on the calendar what days you're going to have what recipe. And then you can print that out and put it on your refrigerator. That's where I like to put my meal plan so that way the kids and everybody can see that thinking what's for dinner tonight and then they'll look oh, okay it's already there i don't even have to answer they can just look and see for themselves so that's another really nice feature too so you can find cool a whole bunch of new recipes and then you can 
pick what you want for your meal plan, put it on the calendar, and then put which ones you want either for the week or monthly, however you shop, and get an ingredient list for all of the things. And then also, because of course you're not only going to shop for those things, maybe you're going to need milk or juice or other things, you can add those items to your shopping list just right there. You can click add item to shopping list, type it in, and it gets added in. So you have everything right there in one convenient place for you. So the link to that blog post is also up above. So two neat things for you, and it's 10 minutes now, and I always, recently I promise I'm going to try to just keep it around 10 minutes. So that will be it for this week, so you don't have to watch this for too long. And I look forward to, I'll have to see you next week. I'm not sure if I'll be on or not because it's Memorial Day, and everybody has it off, including my husband, so I'm not sure what our plans are. So I don't know if I'll be on next Monday or not. So. If I'm not, have a great weekend. And I want to get one little plug, sorry, before I end. We know somebody that, um, I forgot how many years ago, sorry, a few, several years ago was um, a soldier that we knew that I was in our um, Mayawana youth program. And he was one of our leaders in training. And he's an awesome young man. But several years ago, when he was in the, he's in the army and he was in the war in Afghanistan, a roadside bomb went off and, and he was killed. But the, there's a really neat thing happening this weekend on Sunday, NASCAR, every Memorial Day weekend, they have a, um, a race, Coca-Cola 600, which they honor fallen service members and they, um, the, the boy that the guy that we know his name is Frankie Phillips the fourth and his mother works for Lowe's and one of our favorite race car drivers is Jimmy Johnson and Lowe's is one of his sponsors and this year Frankie's name is going to be on Jimmy Johnson's car that's what they do to honor the service members they put uh, like a, a banner across the top of the windshield and we've already seen it. They had a big reveal for the car and everything. His mom showed it on, she had a big thing at Lowe's where she works in New York. And they had a big reveal of the car and it looks really cool. And it, it was very moving to see his name. I think it just says SSG Phillips IV on it, on the car. So if you want, if you like to, if you like NASCAR, or even if you don't, it's a really cool time to watch the NASCAR race this Sunday. So make sure if you like to watch it and look out for the number 48 Jimmy Johnson's car and you'll see SSG Phillips IV on it and you'll know that that was somebody that was really special in our lives that gave his life for our freedom and our country. So, all right, that's it. I will see you in either one week or two weeks. So I hope you have a great next week or two. All right. Bye. And I'll, as always, if you need anything, let me know in the comments or on my page. Message me. I am here for you. All right. Bye for real this time.